In this initial episode, we will delve into the fundamentals of scuba diving requirements and prerequisites. We will elaborate on the importance of health and fitness and how they play a crucial role in ensuring a safe dive. I'll share with you some general information about the process for training and certification, which is your passport to any underwater adventure. We will also discuss the importance of environmental awareness, a responsibility that every diver bears. And of course we'll touch upon safety procedures, because a safe diver is indeed a happy diver. Get ready for this exciting introduction to the underwater world. Before we delve into the technical details, imagine this. You begin planning your scuba diving trip by searching online and ultimately decide on a location. You book your flights and accommodation, ensuring to select a hotel close to the diving center and secure your spot for the scuba diving experience. The day finally arrives and you board your flight, spending the long journey reading about the marine species you might see. You spend the first day exploring the area, trying out the local cuisine and adjusting to the new time zone. The next day, you go to the dive center where they brief you on safety protocols. After a quick introduction session at the dive center, you are ready to dive into the clear waters of your chosen location. You can now enjoy the colorful coral formations and diverse marine life. It is truly breathtaking. It will be an unforgettable experience that leaves you with a newfound appreciation for the wonders of the ocean. Your journey to the scuba diving site is as much a part of the adventure as the dive itself. The thrill of packing your gear, the excitement, the cool sea breeze, the salty air, the soothing sound of the waves, and the sight of the endless ocean. It's a sensory overload that prepares you for the dive. Let's get started. Scuba diving is an incredible experience, but it involves more than just jumping into the water. There's a lot to learn before you can freely explore the ocean's depths. Let's start with the gear. A scuba set is your lifeline underwater. It consists of a tank filled with compressed air, a regulator that delivers the air to you, a buoyancy control device, BCD, and a mask for clear underwater vision. Let's talk about breathing. It may sound simple, but mastering the skill of breathing underwater is essential. Slow, deep breaths are key to conserving air and maintaining calm. Lastly, let's delve into the physics of diving. Underwater, the pressure increases with depth. This affects your body and the air in your tank in ways you might not expect. As you descend, for example, the air in your tank and lungs compresses. Did you know that the pressure changes as you go deeper? This will affect how you descend and especially ascend at the end of your dive profile. Good health and fitness are prerequisites before you get your feet wet. It's crucial to ensure you're medically fit to dive. Diving is no light-hearted affair. It is a physically demanding sport that requires good overall health. What does this entail? First, you need to have a strong cardiovascular system. Diving can put a lot of stress on your heart and lungs, especially when dealing with the pressure changes underwater. Regular aerobic exercise is a great way to stay fit. Secondly, you'll need a good deal of physical strength and stamina. Sometimes you will be fighting against strong currents or hauling heavy gear. Regular strength and endurance training can help prepare your body for these challenges. Lastly, it is essential to have good mental health. Diving can be a stressful experience, especially for beginners. Being mentally prepared can help you stay calm and think clearly in stressful situations. Yes. Always remember health first. We need to focus on training and certification. This part of the journey is crucial for learning the necessary skills. It's more than just learning to swim with a tank on your back. It's about mastering the skills and knowledge required to dive safely and protect the marine environment. There are several reputable training and certification agencies available. PADI, SSI, CMAS, TDI and NAWI are a few of the most well-known scuba diving certification agencies. They offer a range of courses from open water diver for beginners to dive master and instructors for those looking to go professional. The process involves classroom study, confined water training and open water dives. But remember, getting certified isn't about rushing through the course. It's about understanding and applying what you've learned. Take your time, ask questions and practice your skills until you feel comfortable. This isn't just a piece of paper, it's your ticket to a whole new underwater world. 
As divers, we are guests in the marine world. It's a profound thought, isn't it? We are visitors in an environment that is not our own. With this privilege comes immense responsibility. We are the stewards of the underwater world, accountable for the impact we leave behind. Every dive has the potential to contribute to or detract from the health of our ocean ecosystems. From coral reefs to marine wildlife, our actions can influence their survival. Irresponsible diving practices can lead to habitat destruction and disruption of marine life. That's why it's crucial to comprehend and adopt responsible diving habits. Consider the coral reefs. They're not just beautiful underwater landscapes. They are living organisms that take centuries to grow and can be destroyed in an instant by careless divers. Let's tread lightly, respecting the sanctity of the marine world. Let's be mindful of our actions, ensuring that our dives leave no trace. Always remember, take only memories and pictures, leave only bubbles. Being underwater can be a thrilling experience, but it also comes with its fair share of risks. That's why it's essential to familiarize yourself with safety protocols before you take the plunge. One of these protocols is the body check, a pre-dive safety procedure where divers check each other's equipment. It's a simple process, but it can make a world of difference in ensuring that your equipment is functioning properly and that you're ready to dive. And then there are emergency procedures, understanding how to manage unforeseen circumstances underwater can potentially save your life and the lives of those around you. Whether it's learning how to share air with a buddy or what to do in case of decompression sickness, these procedures are a crucial part of being a responsible diver. Safety isn't just about rules and regulations, it's about creating an environment where everyone can enjoy the beauty of the underwater world without fear. Remember, a safe diver is a happy diver. And that concludes today's introduction to scuba diving. We've started with the basics, emphasized the importance of health and fitness, navigated through training and certification, and explored the crucial role of environmental awareness. Take a deep breath, plunge into the unknown, and embark on a journey that will transform you, leaving you with memories that will last a lifetime. Let me know in the comments if there is anything missing that I can include in upcoming episodes. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss this incredible dive into the deep blue. See you in the next episode. Until then, keep diving and exploring.